Musli. Then John Goff and then. And then who? 24 years. Who is the next? Nobody. Bolo Jung, a renowned bodybuilder and martial artist, appeared alongside Bruce Lee in the film 1973, Enter the Dragon, where he played the antagonist. This collaboration helped solidify both their careers, with Lee's charisma and martial arts prowess, complementing Jung's imposing physical presence. But despite their on-screen rivalry, off-screen, they maintained a mutual respect and friendship. But what shocking truth about Bruce Lee remains hidden from the rest of the world, even decades after his death? Join us as we uncover the shocking truth revealed by Bolo Jung about the legendary Bruce Lee, shedding light on a mystery that has remained unknown until this moment. The Unbeatable Journey of Bolo Jung Bolo Jung stands tall among the legendary martial arts actors of all time, renowned not just for his imposing body, but also for his undeniable talent. In his prime, he was more than a mere figure. He was a force to be thought with. This man was as huge as they come, a true powerhouse on the screen. His chiseled body made him a natural fit for numerous classic martial arts films, from Legacy of Rage to Double Impact to Bloodsport. Yet, it was perhaps his most iconic portrayal in Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon that solidified his place in cinematic history. Born in Guangzhou, China, on July 3, 1946, Bolo emerged from humble beginnings. Raised in a lower-class environment, he was far removed from the flamboyance and glamour of Hollywood. Instead, his childhood was shaped by a country striving to define itself among ongoing confusion. Seeking relief and purpose, Bolo found refuge in martial arts. It became more than just a hobby, it became his refuge. In a world marked by change, martial arts provided him with discipline, focus, and a sense of belonging. At the tender age of 10, he embarked on an extraordinary journey delving into the realm of Kung Fu. Under the guidance of several esteemed Kung Fu masters, he engaged himself in a world where martial arts surpassed mere self-defense or physical fitness. In those days, martial arts weren't just skills, they were deeply rooted in the essence of Chinese society, forming a serious part of its cultural fabric. For him, Kung Fu wasn't just about fighting, it was a philosophy, a way of life. Through his training, he discovered the virtues of focus and discipline, values that would shape his character for years to come. He delved deeper into the ancient art of Tai Chi, renowned for its genuine ability to enhance focus and reflection. It was as if he was carving his mind and body into instruments of accuracy and stability. However, his time in China was marked by confusion. The country was undergoing significant political and social disturbance. The spirit of communism loomed large, accompanied by widespread protests and human rights violations. In such a volatile environment, his journey through the world of Kung Fu took on an added layer of complexity and danger. Yet, during the confusion, he forged ahead, driven by an unwavering determination to master the ancient arts that had captivated his young heart. In search of a brighter horizon, Bolo embarked on a daring journey to a region of China bordering Hong Kong. His determination was unmatched as he navigated through the busy city streets and bustling markets until he reached the edge of the Shenzhen River. With resolve etched in his heart, he plunged into the cool waters, swimming tirelessly towards the distant promise of Hong Kong's shores. Unlike the rigid confines of mainland China, Hong Kong was a beacon of freedom and symbol. Nestled under British rule, it boasted a colorful culture, where the East seamlessly met the West in a vibrant fusion of traditions and beliefs. Bolo found himself captivated by this melting pot of humanity, where every corner held a story waiting to be told. It was amidst the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong's busy streets that Bolo's desire for fitness and bodybuilding truly flourished. His conviction ran deep as he dedicated countless hours to carving his body, convinced that strength and skill were the keys to mastering the martial arts. The echoes of his disciplined routines echoed through the city as he sharpened his skills with unwavering dedication. In the year 1969, Bolo's efforts bore fruit as he soared to the height of Hong Kong's bodybuilding scene, claiming the coveted title of Mr. Hong Kong. Yet, between the applause and accolades, he remained humble, for his true journey lay beyond mere physical victories. For Bolo, 
Martial arts surpassed the realm of mere combat. It was a gateway to spiritual enlightenment. Through the graceful art of Tai Chi, he discovered a deep harmony between body and spirit, a delicate balance that bypassed many. With each fluid movement, he delved deeper into the essence of his being, finding relief in the stability of his inner world. During this vibrant period, Hong Kong's burgeoning bodybuilding scene provided a perfect backdrop for Bolo to make his mark. Surrounded by fellow enthusiasts and with access to state-of-the-art gyms and training facilities, he honed his physique to perfection. His dedication and hard work paid off handsomely resulting in a physique that seemed to defy the limitations of mortal flesh. Sculpted muscles that appeared as if the gods themselves forged them. As his fame spread like wildfire across the city, Bolo found himself at the center of attention not only for his physical prowess, but also for his magnetic presence. He became a symbol of aspiration for many young enthusiasts, inspiring them to pursue their dreams with unwavering determination. In the vibrant hanging of Hong Kong's cultural landscape, the film industry stood out as a beacon of creativity and innovation. Studios such as Shaw Brothers and Golden Harvest were not just factories of entertainment, but also incubators of talent, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible on the silver screen. The allure of Hong Kong cinema was not confined to the city's borders. It overstepped geographical boundaries, captivating audiences far beyond the coasts of the fragrant harbor. Just as the beats of K-pop now echo in every corner of the globe, Hong Kong's action-packed films were gaining a loyal following worldwide. In this golden age of filmmaking, producers and directors were like alchemists, constantly seeking out the extraordinary ingredients, talents who could seamlessly blend physicality with acting skill. Bolo's rise to stardom was proof of his unique combination of strength, charisma, and screen presence, qualities that set him apart in a sea of aspiring actors. His journey from the gymnasiums of Hong Kong to the silver screen was not just a personal victory, but also a reflection of the spirit of an era where dreams could be realized with a combination of sweat, talent, and a dash of luck. As he stepped into the limelight, Bolo became more than just an actor. He became a legend, forever etched into the annals of cinematic history. The Outstanding Rise of Bolo With his impressive body and background in martial arts, it's no surprise that Bolo was a perfect fit for the movies of his time. In the late 1960s, studio executives began noticing him and casting him in various small roles. While these roles may have seemed small at first glance, they were the building blocks of Bolo's burgeoning career. Bolo's imposing body and severe behavior made him a captivating presence on screen. He often found himself cast as the silent yet dangerous sinner, emitting an atmosphere of danger that left a lasting impression on audiences. Despite his growing success in the acting world, Bolo faced numerous challenges. The film industry during this period was fiercely competitive, requiring resilience and talent to stand out. Despite the hurdles, Bolo persevered, determined to establish himself as a solid talent in the industry. His journey from small roles to becoming a recognizable figure in cinema was marked by dedication and hard work, proving that success in Hollywood demanded more than just physical prowess. It required unwavering commitment and skill. Making matters even more challenging, Bolo faced a significant language barrier to overcome. Being of Chinese descent, he found himself grappling with the complexities of both language and culture upon arriving in Hong Kong. Yet, during these hurdles, Bolo drew upon the invaluable lessons instilled in him during his early days of martial arts and bodybuilding, the indomitable force of hard work and perseverance. In due time, Bolo's dedication paid off when he caught the attention of executives at Shaw Brothers Studios, a renowned filmmaking powerhouse in Hong Kong. This studio boasted a legacy of cinematic classics such as Dolomite and The Five Deadly Venoms. Recognizing the key role of a compelling rascal in any great movie, the Shaw Brothers saw in Bolo a man who could perfectly embody this ancestor. With his stoic behavior, unwavering discipline, and refusal to yield, 
Bolo became the perfection of a formidable enemy. This breakthrough marked a pivotal turning point in Bolo's career trajectory. He soon graced the screens in various Shaw Brothers productions, ranging from courageous epics to riveting thrillers. With each performance, Bolo further established his status as a martial arts luminary and an imposing presence on the silver screen. Bolo's definition of sinners was a masterful blend of physicality and mental understanding. He possessed a unique ability to embody strength and ease simultaneously, infusing both fear and respect among audiences. Beyond just flexing his muscles, Bolo delved into the minds of his characters, presenting them as multifaceted individuals rather than mere ancestors of evil. This approach earned him widespread acclaim for his capacity to breathe life into roles that went beyond the typical brute force conception. In contrast to the one-dimensional description of rascals prevalent in the industry, Bolo's characters were infused with depth and relatability. Despite often playing the enemy to the supporters, he infused his performances with a fine humanity, allowing viewers to sympathize with the enemies. This ability to convey emotion through physical expression set him apart in an industry where sinners were often reduced to cliches. Moreover, Bolo's presence on screen transcended very obstacle status. His corrupt personas served as driving forces behind the narratives, adding layers of interest and complexity to the storylines. Rather than being sidelined as mere adversaries, his characters became crucial components of the plots improving the overall quality of the films in which he appeared. Bolo's magnetic charisma and commanding presence further improved the attraction of his descriptions, captivating audiences and leaving a lasting impression long after the credits rolled. In essence, he redefined the role of rascals in cinema, turning them into compelling figures worthy of attention and analysis, rather than mere foils for the heroes to conquer. Not only did Bolo possess an awe-inspiring body that turned heads wherever he went, but his collaboration with the legendary Shaw Brothers catapulted him into the heart of Hong Kong's vibrant film scene. Imagine him on set, surrounded by iconic directors like Chang Che and choreographers such as Lau Kar Leung, each pushing the boundaries of martial arts cinema. In this creative melting pot, Bolo honed his craft alongside fellow actors engaging in intense training sessions and absorbing knowledge like a sponge. His vicinity to greatness wasn't just a stroke of luck, but an opportunity seized with both hands. With each role, he delved deeper into character development, exploring the nuances of wickedness with a dedication that bordered on addiction. But it wasn't just his on-screen presence that captivated audiences. Behind the scenes, Bolo's work ethic was legendary, from perfecting fight classifications to mastering dialogue delivery, he approached every aspect of his craft with a relentless drive for perfection. As his star rose in the martial arts movie genre, Bolo became more than just an actor. He became a symbol of power and skill, a living embodiment of the characters he portrayed. From the menacing villain to the misunderstood anti-hero, his performances left an indelible mark on cinema inspiring generations of actors and writers to push the boundaries of storytelling. Bolo's relationship with Bruce Lee. In the busy streets of Hong Kong, where martial arts and movie stars seemed to emerge from every corner, a remarkable collaboration was in the making. The film industry in Hong Kong was already teeming with talent, with fans hungry for fresh faces and gripping storylines. Among the rising stars, two luminaries were about to shine brightest, Bolo and Bruce Lee. Bolo, with his imposing presence and skillful martial arts prowess, was quickly gaining recognition. However, amidst his ascent, another figure was making waves. Bruce Lee, a young talent of Chinese descent with a unique background. Unlike Bolo, Bruce's journey began across the Pacific Ocean in the United States, where he was born. Yet, Destiny called him back to his ancestral home of Hong Kong at a tender age. Bruce's connection with cinema was deeply rooted in his family background, as his father was a prominent opera star. From a young age, Bruce was immersed in the world of entertainment, 
appearing in films alongside his family before even reaching double digits in age. Despite his American citizenship, Bruce's heart and soul belonged to Hong Kong, where his journey to cinematic stardom truly began. As the paths of Bolo and Bruce intertwined in the vibrant streets of Hong Kong, a new chapter in cinematic history was set to unfold, fueled by their shared passion for martial arts and storytelling. With a wealth of resources at their disposal, they successfully arranged for a young Bruce to return to the United States in April 1959. Settling in Seattle, Bruce pursued his education while working as a live-in waiter at a restaurant. During this time, he delved into martial arts, crafting his approach to disciplines like Wing Chun and Kung Fu. Establishing his inaugural martial arts school in Seattle by 1961, he had also enrolled at the University of Washington, diving into subjects such as philosophy and psychology. In parallel, Bruce found his footing in the world of acting landing roles in popular productions like The Green Hornet, Batman, and Ironside. Despite his burgeoning reputation, Bruce harbored a deep desire to contribute to the burgeoning film industry in his homeland, Hong Kong. The allure of the evolving movie landscape there beckoned to him, evoking a sense of patriotism and prompting him to consider returning to his roots. As fate would have it, this longing to return to his origins would intersect with the paths of Bruce Lee and Bolo Jung, two icons of martial arts cinema, forging a connection that would shape their respective legacies. Bruce and Bolo first crossed paths during the shooting of a local advertisement for Winston cigarettes. Right from their initial encounter, there was an instant connection between them. As time passed, their bond grew stronger, leading Bruce to extend an invitation to Bolo to feature in the iconic film Enter the Dragon. This invitation marked a turning point in their lives. Enter the Dragon didn't just become another movie, it soared to incredible heights of success. Even today, it stands as a pinnacle of martial arts cinema, capturing hearts and minds worldwide. The film follows the journey of a skilled martial artist who joins forces with an international spy agency to seek justice for his sister, who fell victim to a drug syndicate. To achieve his goal, he ventures to a secluded island where he must engage in a grueling tournament. The impact of Enter the Dragon reverberated throughout the film industry. It revolutionized the martial arts genre, elevating it to unprecedented levels of artistry and precision in choreography. At the same time, it was an absolute blockbuster, raking in over $400 million to date. What's jaw-dropping is that it was crafted with a mere budget of approximately $850,000. Enter the Dragon wasn't just a movie, it was the birthplace of Bolo's legendary nickname. Cast as a character named Bolo in the film, his portrayal left such an impression that his real name, Yung Zi, faded into obscurity. From that moment on, he was forever known as Bolo Yung. Beyond the glitz and glam of Hollywood behind the scenes, Bolo and Bruce Lee formed an unbreakable bond. They weren't just colleagues, they were comrades in arms, dedicated to perfecting every punch and kick. Their synergy was so potent that they could read each other's minds. Together, they carefully crafted fight scenes, pouring their hearts into every move. And then there was that electrifying moment on set when a daring extra decided to test Bruce Lee's martial prowess. It was a move that left everyone holding their breath but there's one thing we should know about Bruce Lee. His speed was legendary. In the blink of an eye, he demonstrated why he was the undisputed master of martial arts, leaving jaws agape and egos bruised. While Enter the Dragon made waves on the silver screen, it was the untold stories and unforgettable moments behind the scenes that truly solidified its place in cinematic history. Legend has it that the martial arts master was incredibly fast with his fists, able to unleash a barrage of eight punches in just a single second. But what captured the imagination was his signature move. The infamous one-inch punch, a technique Bruce Lee crafted and perfected entirely on his own. He'd stand mere inches from his opponent and unleash a punch so powerful that its impact reverberated throughout their entire body. 
Punches usually require a certain amount of force to truly pack a punch, so to speak. But the one-inch punch defied all expectations. Experts have delved deep into the science behind it, striving to unravel its mysteries. According to their findings, Bruce Lee's one-inch punch reached a mind-boggling speed of 118 miles per hour, or 190 kilometers per hour, and it carried enough force to send a 200-pound or 90-kilogram man flying back a staggering 16 feet or 5 meters. What made this feat even more remarkable was Bruce Lee's unwavering dedication to his training regimen, which honed his speed, power, and endurance to unparalleled levels. It's proof of his relentless pursuit of perfection in the martial arts realm, leaving a legacy that continues to astonish and inspire. Following Bruce Lee's untimely demise in 1973, Bolo, with a heavy heart, reflected on their friendship, acknowledging that Bruce was truly irreplaceable. Their camaraderie wasn't merely a surface-level association. It was a profound connection forged through countless hours of shared training sessions and discussions about their craft. Bolo's sentiment echoed through the martial arts world, resonating with enthusiasts and practitioners alike. Despite numerous attempts by others to emulate Bruce's unparalleled skill and charisma, there remained an intangible quality that set Bruce apart, a combination of lightning-fast reflexes, unwavering dedication, and a magnetic presence that captivated audiences worldwide. Their friendship wasn't solely based on martial arts. It extended into their personal lives, with Bruce and Bolo often finding solace in each other's company amidst the pressures of fame and success. They shared stories, exchanged techniques, and even challenged each other to reach new heights, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible in the realm of martial arts. Their collaboration wasn't limited to training sessions. It extended to the silver screen where they brought their combined talents to life in what would become legendary cinematic masterpieces. Their partnership yielded not only groundbreaking fight sequences, but also moments of genuine emotional depth, showcasing the breadth of their artistic abilities. Their legacy lives on, not just in the films they created together, but in the countless lives they inspired to pursue martial arts and beyond. Bruce and Bolo's friendship remains a beacon of inspiration, reminding us all of the power of camaraderie, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence. Bolo's ultimate rise to fame. When Bruce Lee tragically passed away, it felt as if a part of Bolo's world had crumbled. Bruce wasn't just a friend or a colleague, he was a guiding light in Bolo's martial arts journey, pushing him to reach new heights of excellence. The loss left Bolo grappling with a profound sense of emptiness, yet amidst the sorrow destiny was quietly stirring. Enter the Dragon, the iconic martial arts masterpiece, not only immortalized Bruce Lee, but also catalyzed Bolo's ascent to fame. Hollywood, always hungry for fresh talent, took notice of Bolo's remarkable skills, catapulting him into the limelight he had long dreamed of. Bolo's arrival in Hollywood wasn't merely a triumph, it was a revelation. His fusion of Eastern and Western fighting styles brought a fresh dynamism to the silver screen, captivating audiences with its raw power and finesse. With each role, Bolo showcased his versatility as an actor, effortlessly transitioning from a stoic hero to a menacing antagonist. However, it was blood sport, a gritty martial arts spectacle that truly showcased Bolo's prowess. Cast as Chong Li, the ruthless champion of the underground fighting circuit, Bolo's on-screen presence was electrifying. His imposing physique and intimidating glare made him the perfect foil to Jean-Claude Van Damme's protagonist, Frank Dux. Despite the modest budget of $1.5 million, Bloodsport became an event, captivating audiences worldwide with its pulse-pounding action and serious showdowns. Bolo's portrayal of Chong Li not only established his status as a martial arts icon, but also elevated him to legendary status in the annals of Hollywood history. Once again, Bolo found himself immersed in the thrilling world of cinema, stepping into the shoes of the mysterious villain, Chong Li. 
With every sinew of his impressive shape, he brought the character to life, embodying not just the physical skill, but also the sinister charisma that made Chong Li an unforgettable antagonist. As the cameras rolled, Bolo unleashed his formidable fighting skills with a grace that belied the raw power behind each move. His mastery of martial arts was a spectacle to behold, drawing gasps from the audience as he effortlessly dispatched his opponents on screen. Yet, it wasn't just the action sequences that captivated viewers, it was the subtle nuances in his performance, the way he conveyed Chong Li's inner confusion and hostility with a mere glance or frown. Off-screen, Bolo's presence was equally magnetic. His infectious energy and genuine passion for his craft endear him to his co-stars and crew alike. During the grueling demands of filming, he fostered a sense of friendship on set, effortlessly crossing the gap between professionalism and friendship. It was during the production of Bloodsport that Bolo struck up a friendship with Jean-Claude Van Damme, another luminary in the world of martial arts cinema. Their shared admiration for each other's talents grew into a deep bond, surpassing the confines of the silver screen. Together, they honed their skills, exchanging techniques and insights, each pushing the other to greater heights of excellence. Their friendship proved to be more than just a passing acquaintance. It was a partnership forged in the crucible of their shared passion. So when Van Damme extended an invitation for Bolo to join him in Double Impact, it was not just a professional opportunity, but proof of the enduring bond they had cultivated. Bolo Young's journey through martial arts cinema was nothing short of remarkable. Beyond his iconic roles, he became a symbol of dedication and perseverance for aspiring martial artists worldwide. Despite stepping away from the limelight in his retirement, his influence remains palpable among the stars of today's martial arts scene. While his name might not always be the first to come to mind in discussions of martial arts cinema, Bolo's impact is undeniable. His physical prowess and on-screen presence left an indelible mark on the genre. From his imposing stature to his impressive martial arts skills, Bolo commanded attention whenever he appeared on screen. What truly sets Bolo apart is his collaboration with legendary figures like Bruce Lee. Their on-screen chemistry was electric, showcasing the raw intensity and skill that defined both of their careers. Bolo's ability to hold his own alongside Lee elevated him to a level of respect and admiration that few could match. Bruce Lee's Long-Lasting Legacy Bruce Lee has left an indelible mark on global culture, touching various aspects with his enduring influence. His legendary presence, magnetic personality, and profound wisdom have sparked inspiration across a range of cultural realms, from clothing trends to artistic expressions in digital realms. Lee's distinct flair, famously represented by his iconic yellow tracksuit and masterful handling of nunchucks, has become synonymous with rebellion and effortless coolness. His unique fashion sense has not only been replicated by clothing brands, but has also influenced entire fashion collections, paying homage to his remarkable style. Musicians from diverse backgrounds have drawn upon Lee's legacy, combining references to him in their compositions to convey themes of resilience, power, and mastery. Particularly within the realm of hip-hop, artists have embraced Lee's narrative of overcoming adversity, drawing parallels between his battles and the struggles depicted in their music. Lee's philosophy, emphasizing adaptability and fluidity, strikes a chord with the creative process of music making, often weaving his persona into the lyrical variety of their songs. Bruce Lee's impact on our world is immense and everlasting, inspiring countless cultural creations worldwide. His legendary presence extends into the realm of video games and digital media, where his iconic fighting style and distinctive appearance serve as the blueprint for numerous characters in popular fighting game series. These characters not only bear a striking resemblance to him, but also embody his philosophy of martial arts, urging players to embrace concepts such as flexibility and decisive action. The digital landscape has evolved into a vibrant community for Bruce Lee admirers, where lovers and practitioners converge to celebrate his teachings and enduring influence. Through online platforms, they delve into his principles and techniques, forming connections with kindred spirits 
from every corner of the globe. Beyond video games, Bruce Lee's influence extends into the world of graphic novels and comic books, where his life story is brought to life with a captivating blend of reality and imagination. Moreover, Bruce Lee has been the subject of numerous biographies, which delve into his life, work, and the profound wisdom encapsulated in his writings and sayings. These biographies serve as a window for a broader audience to grasp his insights, reaching far beyond the scope of his films. Bruce Lee's impact on the film industry and television remains palpable, shaping the portrayal of martial arts and Asian characters. Many filmmakers and actors regard him as a major source of inspiration, seeking to emulate his strength, charisma, and depth in their endeavors. Delving deeper into his life, documentaries and films offer a glimpse into the person behind the legend, providing younger generations with a closer look at his character. His influence extends beyond the limelight, influencing the depiction of Asians in Western media, challenging stereotypes and promoting inclusivity. Yet, his most enduring legacy lies in his transformative impact on the perception and practice of martial arts worldwide. What are your thoughts about the shocking truth about Bruce Lee revealed by Bolo Jung? Let us have your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.